Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the official Sky Temple podcast. My name is Smengel and I'll be your host for this interview with Tainted and Baroness Farron for their hack Seal of Ancients for the fifth hack jam. This was a really fun interview. Uh, I don't think I have any, anything else to say, so let's just jump right into it, shall we? So, I am joined by Tainted and Baroness Farron. Say hello, you two. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, it's excellent to talk to you both. How are you both doing today? I'm uh, I'm doing fine. I'm a little bit stressed, yeah. but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to be here. Excellent. Yeah, that's good. Well, I'm a little anxious. No, that's that's fine. Don't worry. This is going to be a nice and chill interview. Um, so let's start with a very easy one off to begin with. Um, just is a very general question. Uh, how did it go? Uh, are you very proud of what you accomplished for this hack jam? Yeah, I'd say so. I'm uh, I'm very satisfied with how it all went, uh, and I felt like we uh, we were on track all the time. Excellent. Uh, yeah. How about you, Baroness? Yeah, I think it went really well, um, really smoothly. They worked together very, very well, I think. Excellent. I'm really glad to hear that uh, you both got on well during production. That's something uh, I always forget to think about. That's very cool. Excellent. I'm, I'm glad it went well. I think you should be really proud of your hack. It came out beautifully. Um, Thank you. So, <laughs> my first question is, where did the inspiration for this hack come from? I think it was a very sort of grand but still a very contained story i'm really interested to hear where the idea for this uh for this narrative came from well, i uh, i, think I, I don't was... think we had an inspiration we did really? it was just a unorthodox one yeah i guess so <laughs> it's kind of funny uh, okay how we, how we went about it uh, uh what was your what was that funny inspiration then so uh, we had the idea when we started to, uh, to each pick a, a Pokemon, um, but we didn't tell each other uh, what we picked really <laughs> uh, okay. until uh, until uh, after a while after we had picked. Uh, right. So my pick was uh, Spiritomb. Okay. Yeah, and mine was Cherim. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so what do you do, what do you do from there then? Did you just try to work well, those two into a plot somehow? Yeah, we we each decided individually what their personalities would be generally, and then we had to decide how they would get along essentially. Okay, okay. And how did you go from from them getting along to uh, the grander story? Was was there any other tricks you used? Um, well, for me, I had thought of her having, you know, the two parts of herself. And then with, with, with Tainted, you had, you had the whole, um, spirit idea pretty fleshed out already. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it just came to me sort of when I, when I chose a, a Pokemon to work with. Okay. Uh, and as I came across Spirit to my... I thought like 108 spirits is a is a little bit too much, <laughs> so I narrowed it down <laughs> to just two spirits. Okay. Um, and I don't know why specifically I, I did that or why I chose Giratina and and Cutie Fly. Right. Um, but it, it it ended up working so well with uh, parents' uh, choice too, with her two personalities. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I think it was uh I think it was inspired that you found the idea that. Uh... You know, the sort of multiple personalities in two Pokemon. I think, uh, do you do you, do you find it uh, to be very lucky that you chose two Pokemon that uh, had these split personalities within them? Oh yeah, yeah, it worked definitely. Really well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it. I think it went. Uh, I think it went very well for you both. Uh, so after that yeah. sort of, sorry, so gone. Yeah, no, I was just gonna say I had another choice which. Probably would have worked too. I had Ditto as, as my second choice, uh, oh, really? and I feel like it would have worked somewhat cool too. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm sure you would have found a way to make it work. That's that's excellent. Um, yeah, cool. So so you had that uh, that original uh, thing you were doing, choosing a choosing a Pokemon each, and see if you can get them to get along. How far? How long did that sort of go on for? How far into the 
into the three weeks of production for the Hack Jam? Um, was it before you had that solid idea for the story uh, sort of set in concrete? I, I think we, we came up with the, the whole Pokemon idea just as the, uh, the announcements, announcement was made. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, and then we started working on, on a somewhat vague story. Uh, sort of a, a beginning and an end. Okay. Uh, and then we sort of started to cross something together with, with both the, the Pokemon and, and, and the gimmick and, and theme too. Excellent. Cool, yeah, so you when, actually... When sorry, the, go on. When the theme and gimmick came out, that's when we had to figure out the actual progression of the plot. Oh, I see. So you actually, you were doing that exercise before you knew what the theme was. Mm -hmm. Right. So when the theme came out, you just had to sort of meld it in. I like that. Okay, that's, that's, that's cool. I like that. So, um, uh, excellent. So when you got started then, uh, what, were your, what were your individual roles, would you say? Because I think in the credits, it lists you both as doing, as scripting for scenes and writing the story. Um, which parts of the story were you each in charge of, uh, and which scenes did you did you make yourselves? Oh, it was kind of a back and forth, honestly. Okay. There were yeah, there were some we scenes didn't that really have any roles. Yeah, right. there were some scenes that were exclusively one of us, and then the other one. But there's some where we kind of went back and forth in this one scene. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't really any individual works apart from. Maybe the art. Uh, I I just helped out with the more technical bits in that uh, scene, but uh, overall we did everything together, really. Nice, cool, excellent. I like that. Uh, which was your favorite scenes uh, individually to make? Uh, <laughs> to make I I think the uh, the the ending bit where where Giratina sort of uh, and Cutie Fly sort of dis disappears. Uh, okay. It was really hard to make something emotional. I, I've never really done it before, but uh, it was super fun to work out. Excellent. Yeah, I think that worked really well. Uh, um, <laughs> Baroness, what was your favorite one to break? For me, I think it would be the the uh, after you fight the the two guardians, Floet and Metagross scene, like the end of their battle, because I did locks for the first time in that scene and i was quite proud of myself oh excellent excellent i don't even understand locks but i'm sure it's very 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 impressive um yeah i'm afraid I, I i don't know much about coding myself good stuff um excellent so there is a uh there's a time skip very early on into this story uh how long is that time skip exactly because i we, we sort of uh, it happens very fast and we don't really cover like how long is actually how much time is actually lost in that in that time skip well I thought it was that she was a child like it was a, a scene from her childhood right. in the beginning and then we cut to her as an adult okay so it's yeah I don't think we ever decided on a, a specific time frame we just sort of uh, sort of made a uh cut there in the timeline sort of okay mm -hmm. cool so yeah. she's a, like a young adult by the end of the time skip yeah excellent uh what are the other uh children who are in the in the school did, did you ever decide what happens to them after the time skip has happened we were really we, we had some ideas but uh yeah, uh, oh, yeah. nothing really came to fruition <laughs> but uh, it was only really minor parts either way so they were okay. never really meant to be uh, integral to the story, sort of. Yeah, at least not the later part, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I remember we did have ideas of an Inkata being a, like a guardian of some location, but it never came up. Okay. I see. Okay. Cool. Uh, excellent. Uh, which is your, uh, which individually is your favorite character from this? Uh, from the, from this hack because I mean again it was a kind of contained story there wasn't really a huge like a grand cast of characters there was you know Giratina and Cutie Fly and then there was um, Floette and Metagross but uh, did you did you both have uh, a favorite that you enjoyed writing for the most or that you just enjoyed the most in the story? 
Uh, well, I love villains, <laughs> and I love okay. villainous personalities, so I really liked Giratina personally. Yeah? Yeah, I, I think I'm the same here. <laughs> I, um, oh, really? Giratina is definitely my, my favorite character in, in this. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Did you, uh, did you, did you know going, uh, into the story after you had Spiritomb that Giratina was going to definitely be the one, uh, who was the main villain? Or did you have any other ideas for who might be the main sort of dominant personality of Spiritomb? No, we, we had the, we had that idea, uh, going into this, uh, both with the Cutify and the Giratina. Oh, really? Giratina was all, yeah, he was always meant to, to be sort of the villain in this story. Okay. How did you uh, decide upon, start. how did you decide upon Cutie Fly as that sort of supporting? Uh, that, that was just a funny coincidence, really. I just picked someone that was cute and, and charming, I guess. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. No, yeah, I think uh, I remember there was originally a plot point of like, she is around because, or she's the one that manages to come out uh, as the other spirit because she's so small, so he kind of overlooks her. Oh, okay. So she's able to sneak by because she's a little cute thing. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. I like good stuff. Yeah, that is true, actually. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, excellent, excellent. Um, uh, so yeah, you both are artists. And you've done a lot of uh, uh, pixel art and I suppose overworld art as well for the uh, for Sky Temple just in general uh, for different hacks obviously. Um, as as artists, was it difficult to sort of transition into? I mean, I it's, it's just sort of, to sort of transition into like a full storytelling, full doing this entirely by yourself. I I, I don't know uh, if you've worked on solo projects before or in in groups where you've been leading the narrative as well. Was that transition difficult or uh, was it actually quite smooth? Um, I think it went pretty smoothly. I am, I'm also a writer. I'm not just an artist. So I, I've okay. done a lot of writing. Before. Cool. Untainted? Yeah, I think it went smooth. Uh... I was, I was dabbled with the uh, art. Um, I was actually into mainline hacking before, before I went into this. Okay. Uh, but cool, but so I've you... always worked alone. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So is this the first time either of you have worked uh, in, a, in, a, in a group then? No, we worked with the Blue Rescue Team Prologue together. That was our first product together, actually. Uh, but we have helped each other before, so. Cool, okay. Okay, excellent. yeah, that's true. Excellent, cool, excellent, excellent. Um, so when you uh, approached this story to create the sort of uh, visual style uh, of the backgrounds and of maybe certain characters, uh, did you have any inspirations in mind for that? Were you trying to replicate a visual style of uh, of a different game uh, per se, or uh, were you trying to just create like something that felt quite uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Um, main, main inspiration was the friend areas, and I think people could tell. I've seen a lot of people say they feel like the friend areas. Okay. Um, they were... Overall, though, we had, the, we had like a million different references that we, we picked and chose from. <laughs> oh, really? Um, Which references were yeah. they? Oh, they were... We... <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Sorry, say that again? I just found it off That's the not... internet. Oh, okay, cool. Did you, uh, were you yeah, inspired we by, that. okay, were you, were you inspired by, uh, 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 Legend of Zelda for the opening sort of, uh, title sequence? Oh yeah, that's true. Indeed we were. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I thought, I thought that was a really good choice. I loved those, um, uh, I don't know how to describe them actually. Uh, runic, maybe not, no? It's the sort of scrolling, uh, sort of archaeological look of the, uh, of the, of the sort of. Hieroglyphs, in a way. I don't know if I'm using any of the correct words for this. <laughs> uh, but I, I thought it, I thought it worked really well. Thank um, you. Do you have any plans to uh, expand the story from where it was? I mean, it is uh, again, it is a very like lovely and contained story. But do you have any uh, 
maybe inspirations to or, or aspirations to expand the story from what it is now and maybe do some side stories to it or anything like that? Mm. No, we haven't thought we about have, it, I guess. Yeah, we haven't really discussed anything like that. Um, okay. So Did you, uh, I, I wouldn't really know. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, cool. Did, did you have any, uh, maybe any uh, ideas for the story that didn't make it into the full hack? Or anything like that? Hmm. I, I don't think so. I think for the most part we managed to fit everything in there in some form. I guess besides the adult bullies. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, um, other than that, I don't think there was anything. Yeah. We had we plans to like fill out the uh, between scenes if we had time, but... Uh, okay. Uh, it must, be, it must be very satisfying to get everything you wanted to uh, to get into the hack. Uh, that must have been... Yeah, and I gotta say, the uh, the last extra day, they really helped us out. Uh, <laughs> we were so uh, sure of ourselves that we, we didn't need it, but uh, as it turns out, we really did. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I've gotten that from quite a few people, actually. I'm really glad we uh, implemented that last day. Excellent, good stuff. Yeah, it really, really helped us. Uh, is there anything else you, uh, sort of, any other, like, um, gameplay elements you sort of wish you could have included uh, in the hack or anything like that? Um, say, for instance, if you'd had an extra week or anything like that, would the, would the uh, hack have changed at all? Or do you think you would have just tightened up uh, what you had? I I'm not sure. I, I guess it. Uh, I guess we would just fill out some some scenes here and there, like I said before, in between scenes. But in terms of gameplay, gameplay, I uh, I don't know. Mainly just balance, I think, in the dungeons and yeah. whatnot. Okay. Was balancing? Yeah, because. Was... Oh, sorry, go on. I was just gonna say I was real. Uh, jealous of Recall's dungeon generation. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Uh, was was balancing quite a difficult uh, thing to accomplish in this hack? I guess uh, yeah. it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, uh, especially when we we had real uh, released the the hack, we got a lot of uh, complaints here and there. <laughs> That we oh, over skip. Oh, I see. Was it the most difficult element of the hack to create? Do you think, or was was there something that was even more challenging? No, I, I think, think it was um, probably. Yeah, either the dungeon or uh, just uh, selecting what kind of music you want to play in the cutscenes. Oh, That's right. the worst. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't. I cannot for the love of me choose a, a a good song. I feel like. So is many times I end up with ambience. Oh, right. Is, is that because there's too many good songs to choose from, or is it you just can't find the exact right vibe that you want? Yeah, the, I think it's the just hard to so find specific. the vibe. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, con I mean, it, sorry, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, it, it is really hard to find the, the right mood, like Baron said. Um, okay. It has to feel right, but it, it, it never feels right for some reason. Ah. Oh. Would you have uh, created any custom music? Do you think if uh, if you, I don't know if any of you make music. If you if you uh, had the time and skill, I don't want to say that. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Would you would you ever create custom music for a hack if if you learn how to do that? Probably, I, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's it's hard to say. <laughs> okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, sorry about that question. Uh, uh, excellent. So that was, uh, if that was the most difficult part of, of making this hack, what was the easiest part? What was the part you uh, enjoyed most that just seemed to run so smoothly it was beggar's brave? Doing the art for me. Really? Oh, yeah. That was on a roll the whole month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I had that skill. Um, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, and I mean, it's not really a huge surprise. I mean, you're so talented and 
uh, and and the art really was so good. So that's a uh, I didn't it wasn't even a very good question, honestly. Uh, good stuff. Uh, when you came into <laughs> sorry, sorry, go on. Sorry. Uh, for me, uh, I was gonna say uh, for me it was the uh, uh, writing cutscenes, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I have the most fun doing that. Uh, I enjoy art too, but I just can't for for me not uh, get myself together and do it in time. I see. Yeah. Right. I get so I'll... stressed. <laughs> Yeah, how much time during the three weeks did you both spend uh, working on this? Uh, were you able to, um, I don't know, even take days off and spend the whole day working on these? Or was it only a couple hours each day? How much time did you spend on, on this? I work Monday to Friday, so I only had a couple of hours on the, on there. And then on the weekends, I just pretty much spent all day on the, on the hack. Okay. And then I think the, the last week uh, I got two days off from work. <laughs> oh, I see. Just to finish up. Excellent, excellent. I am pretty much the same, but I also have to do stuff on the weekends. So I mainly every day spent like three, four hours. Three, four hours. Whenever I could get it on. Excellent, excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. Do you have uh, any other ideas? Did you have any something uh, like a, a completely unrelated idea uh, for, for this hack jam that you decided to drop, or was it just this one singular idea that you just honed and refined? Um, I think Tainted has had other ideas before, but they never were considered for this hack jam. Okay, Tainted. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Uh, or remember anything about any ideas I have. Oh, uh, I have so I have too many ideas, really. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see. I see. That is that is a writer's curse. Too many ideas. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, but I, I don't think there really was any. I I think we had some ideas for the dungeon, but uh, that that wasn't a priority, really. I see. Uh, I see. Was the priority going into this? Uh, what do you say? Well, yeah, that's a good question. What what would you say the priority was? Was it the story or the visuals uh i think I, I i'm picking up that maybe the dungeons and the gameplay weren't the priority focus uh so what do you what would you guys say it was uh definitely the the narrative and plot and uh, the art artistic view of the whole thing i think yeah um yeah i'm not really too keen on the dungeon itself so oh, i see i just focus on <laughs> the the story and the cutscenes and all that. Yeah, I, well, I think it really paid off. Thank you. Uh, Baroness, would you agree? Yeah, I agree with that. We yeah. wanted to really uh, uh, excel in the visuals and the story. Excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. And I, th I think our, our, uh, our main objective here was to, to bring out uh, those emotions and make someone cry, really. Yeah. That was, yeah. The, that was my... my... That's my goal, at least. Oh, I, I think you definitely succeeded. Um, <laughs> looking at the comments of PMD Gang's video. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm very proud of what we were able to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you absolutely should be. I think it came out extremely well. Um, uh, so, I guess that's, I guess that's uh, the end of our, our, our talk about Seal of Ancients. And so my last question for that specifically is... Why will Seal of Ancients win best hack of Hack Jam 5? Oh dear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, think, I think it's going to be the, the narrative here for, for the thing. And of course the art, really. Yeah? Yeah, I, I don't think it has much else going for it. I don't think. Oh, don't say that. Not much else going for it. <laughs> I don't know. It's the narrative and, and plot and art. And besides that, I I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. What do you think, Baroness? Yeah, we're 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 gonna we're gonna win because we made people cry. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's a good reason to win. That's a good reason to win. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I think <laughs> I, I I do think there's more to your hack than uh, 
just narrative and and visual. I think, I mean, narrative is a very broad uh, sort of descriptor. Um, I think you can you can be more selective and say things like the comedy and uh, the emotions, uh, maybe the relatability. Um, I think the comedy was really peak. I really loved the the, the Kecleon merchants. Uh, between each dungeon, I thought that was an inspired choice. Um, what what uh what led you to put those two in? Did you just was it just because you felt like you needed some sort of shop, or did you always know that that was going to be uh, a, a cute little in between, um, a sort I of think, story in its own? I think we just decided on it midway through that we should right. uh, we should add some kind of. Uh, some kind of shop to, for the player to, to help them out sort of and uh, have some use for the, the book uh, that he pick up yeah uh, as for the story between them <laughs> it was just something we we went with on the on the fly sort of <laughs> it just came to us yeah Did it, I, I i mean you must have had a lot of fun writing that yeah it, it was definitely fun writing them um, i kind of forgot to include them in the or we, I suppose, in the the credits <laughs> after. Oh, did you? After the whole thing happened, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Good stuff. Excellent. But they got out. They're fine. Yeah, did they, they? Did. That's very important. Yeah. Move. They're okay. Good. They're all right. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Cool. Uh, so, uh, are you excited for the next hack jam? I think there, there there's two a year. Will you be uh, participating again? And if so, will you do it as a duo again? I, we haven't discussed this, but, but uh, I'd love to, personally. Yeah. Excellent. Do you have I, any ideas? I really enjoy these hack jams. Yeah? I, I, I think they're a really uh, good community event, yeah. Do you have any ideas? Yeah, for sure, for, for sure. Do you have any ideas for what you'll do for that hack jam, or, uh, or will you start formulating ideas closer to the time? I mean, there's no rush. Yeah, we, we haven't talked about it at all really so i guess it had to be when it draws closer i guess yeah yeah but Excellent. i mean i i would want to work together again it's a lot of fun oh i'm all very yeah, it's excited really fun, really fun the dream <laughs> team working again together again that's oh can't come soon enough excellent love <laughs> that so uh that's probably gonna wrap up the interview more or less do you two have any uh, closing statements or anything else you want to talk about uh, before we end it off? I I don't think so. Uh, no? I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm alright too. I mean, well, thank you for interviewing us. Of course, it was my pleasure. I, I think I yeah, really enjoyed this interview. I hope, have you guys enjoyed this interview? I hope you have, because I certainly have. Yeah, I, I I was sad when they stopped doing the Sky Temple podcast. Oh. So, oh nice I'm, to I'm, have a new form of it. Yeah, well, I'm I'm chuffed to be taking this over. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say to the community uh, before you go? I guess uh, thank you for <laughs> for being awesome. Really, uh, it's been super fun to be part of it uh, throughout the years. And I'm I'm looking forward to what's to come. Yeah, we can agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, cool. Well, it's been lovely speaking to you both. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, what you have coming out uh, for next Hack Jam. Do you two have anything coming out that isn't Hack Jam related? Are you working on any projects by yourself? Yeah, I think I have like five projects going on right now. Oh uh, goodness. <laughs> But, uh, but uh, nothing in the foreseeable future, I don't think. <laughs> oh, I see. Nothing, nothing, coming out, nothing coming out soon. No, I don't think so. Ah, okay. And Baroness? I have one. Ooh. Um, it's not my priority, because I am mainly helping with other things and doing uh, Sprite repository stuff. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Nothing wrong with that. Cool. Uh, I'm really looking forward to whatever it is, though. Thank you. Um, well, okay, as I said before, this has uh, been really fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed this interview. It's been lovely speaking to you both, and uh, I'll catch you both at some other time, okay? Sure. Yeah, it's been lovely being here.
Lovely. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a very chill interview. Massive thanks to Tainted and Baroness Farron once again for letting me interview them. And uh, another v round of applause. Uh, very well done for Seal of Ancients. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the next interview will be with Bird Obsession, the creator of A Starless Night. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, uh, until then, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening or morning or day, whatever time zone you're in. Uh, and uh, I'll see you then. Okay, bye.